These are the dumbest laws in America. Okay. I'm ready. I'm so ready. Hi, I'm Rebecca Felgate. I'm Danny Burke. And apparently we're talking about, as our Canadian friends would call them, laws. The stupidest laws in Yankeeville. Ooh, okay, okay all right. Sweet. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Law number one. In Ohio, police are allowed to bite a dog if they think it will calm it down. <laughs> well, why are they biting the dog? Why does that need to happen? I feel like that would not calm it down. Why Ohio? Somebody's got like little puppies, you gotta go up to it and like bite it by the back of the neck. I mean it's like, weird. I would, oh, I, would, I, would, I would do it. Why would you do that? So this is literally understand. man bites dog? Um, don't bite dogs. Just from experience, you know, they don't really like it. You know how they usually make laws after something happens? You know, something big happens. Oh. Uh, so what? Happen in Ohio where they had to make that a law. They, like the dog was just losing it, and they were yeah. just like, I know what, I'll just give it a chomp. Well, I know a situation where you're like, this can be solved by biting. Well, feel good about it. I want to hear some people from Idaho. Idaho. I, uh, I this is Idaho. I want to be able to say Idaho. I can't say it. Sharks and dogs are the same. Guys, please don't hit dogs. Don't hit dogs. Yeah, but if they're attacking you, then and they're foaming at the mouth. Yeah, then then maybe. Oh yeah, sweet. And then you get rabies. Hold, hold on, guys. I've I got gotta this. Bite, I gotta bite this dog. Everything will be okay. Lab number two. Lab. In Arizona, you may not have more than two dildos in a household. How do they check? Who is going around and like on dildo uh, inspection? I'm the dildo police. I always say diddle does. Just makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> you one in the pink, one in the stink. Who needs more than that? But why is this a law too? Like, yeah. isn't it unsanitary for people to be sharing dildos? But you're rather flush. <laughs> you get one regular one, and what if you get one that's double sided? Ha! Huh. Does that oh. count as two, or does that count as one? It's true. Why? Is that per person? Sorry, or just in the house? Per, f per family. Ten years for th oh, yeah. having three dildos? Damn. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that's how you get street cred out there, is you just be like, I don't care. You don't care. Tell the police come around, I've got three. Yeah. In me. Good to know. Next law. Next law. South Carolina. South Carolina. There's a lot of ridiculous. It's perfectly acceptable. Perfectly acceptable? To beat your wife on courthouse steps on a Sunday. But only on the courthouse steps and on and Sundays. Only on Sundays. To what? You get beat your wife on the on courthouse a, steps on, on a, a Sunday? Sunday? How does that make any sense? It's God's day. Why? I don't. I don't Why? even have words for that. Why Sunday? A random. Who comes up with these laws? I know. Is the courthouse even open on a Sunday? That's that's. I don't even think it is. In Washington, a motorist with criminal intention must call the sheriff when he enters city limits. Wait. What? But if you're a criminal already, I feel like you wouldn't be honest enough to call. <laughs> I feel like this is a foolish law. <laughs> They're not gonna call you. Hi guys, I'm driving into Washington and I just wanna let y'all know that I've got some criminal intentions. Hey Sheriff, what's up? Yeah, John Wilcox Booth here. I'm just gonna run over Abraham Lincoln with my freaking Ford Escort. Cool? Yeah, all right. Is he to agree? Hi, I'm here to commit a crime. Like, no. <laughs> by the way, I'm in your city and I'm committing a crime soon. <laughs> just letting you know. In Alaska. Oh, great. If you see a sleeping bear, it is illegal to wake it up for a photo. Why would, what? First off, I wouldn't wake the bear anyways, because I'd be afraid that it's going to bite me. Uh, oh. Also, I think a sleeping bear selfie is just as good as an awake bear selfie. Okay, first of all. Who's taking selfies with First of all. Then it can't even take selfies with their little claws. I, know. I can't get it. In New Jersey, it is illegal to wear a bulletproof vest while murdering someone. That's a silly law. That's a really silly law. Right? You made stab at the person. Are you wearing a bulletproof vest? No. <laughs> what was the reason that law came into place? This is stupid. Can we just discuss how this is stupid? Oh, I've got a knife here. You better have a knife too. Now let's dance. <laughs> oh, this is not the way I thought it was gonna go. <laughs> how do they test if it's a bulletproof vest? So they actually like get the person and start shooting them. In West Virginia, it is illegal. <laughs> for a man to have sex with an animal that weighs under 40 pounds. I mean, I would say don't have sex with animals in general. What? So, 
think, horses wait, are wait, okay, the, right? I'm just trying to think of what animals weigh over that. Horses. Wait, so it is legal to have sex with one over 40 pounds? Yeah. yeah. Hor no, come on, why do you already have that? <laughs> he knew, he knew. What about sheep? Mm, maybe sheep. Is I'll this an up. updated law? That's the question. Or is this like back from like the 1800s? When people had like cabin wood, and they were really horses. lonely. Yeah, they were really lonely. <laughs> also, Brown. what what about if you if you were a completely normal guy? You know, you had your sixty, like you. you had your sixty pound antelope wife, right? You know, you're just having consensual sex, everything's good, and then she and then you come back and she's gone on a massive diet and yeah. she's lost twenty five pounds. Man, it's thirty nine point eight pounds. I thought it was forty. And now you're getting done because. You know, your, your antelope girlfriend lost She's weight. not getting done. Man, it's 39.8 pounds! I thought it was 40! You wanna know something completely unnecessary that I do know? Okay. Apparently, the sheep vagina is the closest animal vagina to a human female vagina. Let's just move on. <laughs> in Alaska, it is illegal to get drunk in a bar and stay there. Oh, that's sad. That's horrible, though. It's so old in Alaska. You're gonna get drunk and have to go out and wander through the snow. That's how drunk? Horrible. Like yeah. how drunk? Like as soon as it starts, you just have to leave. Who defines drunk? Because I could be like, well, Danny, you're a bit drunk, but you could be like, no, I'm fine. Uh, yeah, but that's kind of I don't Defeats know. Defeats the purpose of the bar. Like you like, might as well just drink at home. Where do you go then, though? Are there any more stupid laws? It's the stupidest law of them all. In Tennessee, mm -hmm. it is illegal to share Netflix password. It's hundreds of years old. They wrote that law back in 1642 and they had no idea what it meant. That makes common sense. I mean, like, who wants to share their Netflix password? Is this but real law? Like, It's illegal? And how would people get Netflix? Yeah, I declare as town's person of Tennessee that thou shalt not share thy Netflix password. Have you shared it? No. Huh? I don't have one. So those are the dumbest laws? What laws would you guys make up? <laughs> yes. Cool means, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave Wobble. And I'm Ozzy! What were you just doing? I don't know! Dude, let's shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it! Let's shake out of this video.